Three ways to cross language and cultural barriers in a relationship. This is not a topic I've ever covered before because frankly, I don't have the experience and I wanted to bring in someone amazing who did. This is Alex Cormont. Thank Great you so to much, have man. you here, sir. Now you probably know Alex. If you don't, he is literally the number one follow dating relationship coach in France. He has almost a million subscribers and followers between the social medias. You've coached more than 30,000 people over 12 years. Crazy. And you've only learned English yourself in the past, what, two years? Yeah, exactly. Oh, and your girlfriend, fiance, doesn't speak French. French. Not yeah, at all. At all. So no one better to talk about this. Alex is going to share three tips of how to cross this language barrier. The first is really about culture, isn't it? It's all about culture. Yeah, it's really important to understand that it's difficult to change someone. And you know, I remember when I first came in the US and I have to learn English and I met my fiance and one day I was really mad at her. So I, I want to create an argument, you know, I was like ready to create this argument because she did something that touched me. And when she just came into the apartment, I, wanted, I was mad, I want to yell at her. But the problem was I was not able to talk, express. to express my yeah. feeling. My English was not that good. So what happened here, I understood that everything is about culture because what was really important for me was not for her. So the first question I want you to ask yourself is what is really important for you that is not for him or for her? Because then you will understand that there is a culture between you two guys. So if you want to cross the barriers, you need to understand what is really important for him or for her. When you have the answer to this question, you will make sure that your relationship will be stronger. Yeah, and so what it's really about personal values, isn't it? That, that uh, come in with your culture. You yeah, exactly. So personal values is something that we don't talk when you go to the traditional education. When you go to high school, we don't ask you, what are your values? So what is important for you? So just quick exercise, take a paper and a pen and every night before to sleep, just write what was really important for you in your day. Maybe it was people to compliment you, work is really important for you, respect is really important for you and you can start to visualize what is really important for you. For example, French people, when we have a communication, we keep it low. So we don't want to have argument, we don't want to use a lot of voice that will be too hard on someone. Yeah. We are pretty picky with that, which is not really the case in the US because people express more yeah. their emotions. <laughs> totally different. So that's something that I've learned with my girlfriend and that's something really important. Fantastic. And so what's, where do you go after that? Once you understand the culture, what's the next step? I'm sure there's a lot of, okay, I understand it, but how do we reconcile this? Yeah, you know, I have heard that mixed couple or mixed relationship are difficult to maintain. And when you ask on YouTube, what do you want us to talk to your community? People yeah. said, yeah, cross barriers. Cross barrier, cross cultures, cross like, language. How to understand it and how to manage it. So first you need to understand something. For me, it's just amazing the way I have grown by learning from my fiancé. It was just it's amazing. so different. Yeah, yeah, it's just different. And it's really important because we are experiencing new things. So if you want to cross barriers, if you want to learn from your partner, even if it's a different culture, it's just about first, what did you learn from each other, which is what experience did you, ex did you have? What did you learn in communication, in love? And why are you so happy with that person? That's important to focus on the positive. And the second question is, what can you bring to the table? That's something we forget. Yeah. When you are in a relationship, you're giving a lot to that person. What is it? If you can understand your value, then your relationship will be different because you will make sure that it will be stronger. It's not just love. It's something where we share in common, which is really important. And there's so many differences, isn't there, that it forces you to really grow, to have a successful relationship cross culture. There's, there's even more differences between the two of you. So if you're going to do it right, you've got to take on the gratitude for hey, what can I learn? Yeah, and this. you will give attention to the real important thing. Like I said in the example, when I was really mad at my girlfriend, I just realized that it was not that bad. So I can just handle my emotions yeah. and wait for tomorrow to express what was really important for me, but in a different way. So when there is the cross barrier language or when you are just too different with your partner, you will learn how to not let your emotions take the lead and be more rational. So communicate yeah. better. Kind of control your impulses as well and exactly. force you to be rational. Yeah, I like exactly. it. What's the third step? 
So it's about communication, as I said. You know, communication is really the key. And through my experience as a relationship expert, I have found a book that's amazing. It's The Five Love Language from Gary Chapman. Because I was thinking always, love and communication is about words. But the problem is, no one can express everything with the world. Sometimes we need to touch someone or we always like to give gifts. And so it, even tones and things exactly like the way talk different things. That was really acts, important yeah. for me to understand that. So if you want to make sure that you're crossing the barrier language and all the difference, it's to understand how your partner is expressing love and how do you express love. So, for example, people can share some words, so they, they would like to receive words. But some other people like me are more a giving person. I will give some gifts, or if my girlfriend needs me, I will always be there for her. And that's the way I express my love. When we can understand the difference, when we express love, the relationship, even when we cannot really talk to each other, the relationship is just strong because we talk differently, not just with the words. I hope yeah. it makes sense. I love this. I love this. And so, Alex, to finish out, if, if you're in a position, if someone watching this is in a position where they are just, they're at a crossroads, they're just not getting each other, maybe they're in the midst of an argument and just having a disagreement, what's something really quick that they can do to just reset and, and, and kind of get around this language barrier or culture barrier that causes this disagreement? I would use an image. You know, it's like an iceberg. When you see the iceberg, you have the face that you're seeing, but there is something under the water. So when you have an argument, it's just for the consequence, something that is disturbing you or make you feel sad or mad. But you need to understand what is the real the source, what was the root of your problem. If you can understand this, you will work on the solution and you will be able to just save your relationship even if you don't speak the same language. Something that I really have, uh, something that I really learned with my girlfriend, we were always mad at few things that were not important. So when we start working on the wood, then we never had any argument and you can do it. Right, so is that kind of saying, well, like what's triggered me here or, or what standard have I, am I feeling that has gone unmet? Is it essentially looking at, well, what is this activated within me? Yeah, exactly. It's not like emotion, it's more on the rational part. So for example, it's like, what makes this problem real for me and for him? So when you understand these two questions that I asked you before, you will make sure that the communication will become better and better. But if you're in the middle of an argument, the real solution is to wait for two more because your emotion will go down, you will not have words that you will regret after, and then you will start realizing why is it difficult for your partner to change. And most of the time, it's because of culture. It's just hard to change who you are. But if you can just communicate on what you're waiting for, because when we communicate and there is the mixed and the cross buyer language, we are not looking for solution. We are just looking for arguments and prove our point. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. To so today you have to focus on solution and then your communication will become better. So really looking at what's underneath the iceberg and maybe taking 24 hours to just reset and, and examine that with your partner. And think about solution like this, this communication will just be proactive and will help your relationship to grow and to become better and better. How's this? The guy's only spe been speaking English how long? It's difficult, but I challenge months, myself. <laughs> two years? Incredible. Alex, thank you so much for coming on board. Tips are incredible. I love this topic. It's really, really important. How can people find more about you? So come on my website. I have a French website, alexandrecommon.com. I have a US website, frenchrelationshipexpert.com. I'll just leave a comment. I will be here. Leave a so, comment. Yeah, I will be here to answer this, your question just them. right below this video. I'm here. Make sure you are subscribed to this guy's channel. It's phenomenal. It's, it's really, really good. He is the number one person in France at this for a very good reason. Uh, and a really genuine, lovely guy, if, if, I, say, if I must say so as well. So Alex, sir, thank you for coming in. Thank it's been you, an Matt. absolute pleasure. Right. Leave your thoughts, comments, questions, as I say, in the space below. Hit the thumbs up and the big red subscribe button with the little bell so you don't miss any future videos. And we'll see you in the next video very for soon. Bye-bye. Sure.